Have you ever seen or heard about this term edivicide load? Do you know what's the use of it? I'll be telling and showing you the proper method to use ADV side load using mobile phone. Yes, without using PC or laptop, I'll be showing you the best method to use ADV side load. ADV stands for Android Debug Bridge, which enables user to establish a communication between the computer system and the Android device. You can use this ADV side load to flash custom ROMs, modes, side load OTA updates, etc. And in this video, I'll be showing you how to use this ADB side load to install custom room on your phone. Nowadays, people are facing encryption problem on custom rooms, mostly on Android 12 and Android 13 rooms. And because of this, you won't be able to access the internal storage on custom recovery. You will receive some random numbers instead of your files and folders. This ADV side load will help you in that problem to flash custom rooms on your device. So let's start the video. So I have these two phone with me and I am going to flash a custom room to this device which is Redmi Note 8 but due to encryption I cannot do it from my internal storage of custom recovery. And to install ROM I will use this another device which is Redmi Note 9 Pro Max whose bootloader is locked and it's not rooted as well. And I will be using this device as a computer to install custom ROMs. So first of all go to the settings section on the device which you are going to use as a PC and then go to about phone section. From here tap on the MIUI version 7 times continuously to enable developer option. In some phones there will be build number option instead of MIUI version. So if you have build number on your about phone section then tap on that build number to enable developer option. After enabling developer option go to the additional setting, scroll down to the last and you will find developer option. In some phones you may find developer option inside system setting. So in developer option scroll down and you will find USB debugging option. Simply enable it if it is not already. Now after enabling developer option you need to download one app from the play store which is Bugjager app. Simply download it. So the Bugjager app is downloaded. Now you need to download custom ROM file for the phone on which you are going to install custom ROM. And in my case it is Redmi Note 8. I have already downloaded the latest official Dorfest ROM for Redmi Note 8 which is based on Android 13. Now after downloading custom ROM you have to reboot your another phone on which you are going to install custom ROM. Make sure you reboot it to recovery mode. In some phones you can also reboot to recovery mode by long pressing power and volume up button. I have installed TWRP custom recovery on my Redmi Note 8 and it looks something like this. So now we need two more things, first one is OTG cable and second one is USB data cable. We need them to make a connection between these two phones so that we can install custom ROM. So this is the final setup, we have attached OTG to the device from where we are going to install ROM and remaining cable to the other phone on which we will install custom ROM. And you will notice that when you finish attaching cables, a pop-up menu for permission will appear. We need to allow all the permission that it asks for. This is necessary to make a connection between them. And when you allow the permission, it will redirect to the Bugjager app. Here in this app, simply swipe right across this icon. You will find this thunder-like icon. Tap on it. And then scroll down to the last where you will find side load section. Now in this another device go to advanced section where you will find ADV side load button. Simply tap on it. Now select these two options wipe Dalby cache and wipe cache and swipe to start side load. And when you swipe to start side loading another pop up menu will appear on another device. Allow the permission. Also you will see device connected written at the bottom of the screen which means our these two phones are now connected to each other. Now tap on that pick file and perform side load button. 
then it will show a warning agree that and tap on i understand then select the rom zip file that you have downloaded i'll tap on that surface rom zip file and as you can see the installing process has started this will take some time so i'll fast forward this process so finally the installation process has been completed now we need to format the phone on which we have installed custom rom so go back and enter into wipe section then tap on format data button then type yes and press that tick button now the formatting process is started and it has completely formatted this device so make sure to keep backup before proceeding to this process now everything is done simply tap on reboot system now we can go back on this another device as we don't need this another phone further also you can remove this wire that are plugged in so now Dorface Roam is installed on this Redmi Note 8 and in this way you can use this ADV side load option to install any custom Roam without using computer or laptop so I hope you like this video and if you find this video useful you can hit that like button comment down below if you have any suggestions or problem and share this video as much as you can and also don't forget to subscribe to Cracksoid. Also hit the notification bell. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.